Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use Notepad++ to find and fix bad characters in a text string or file. As a data analyst, sometimes you'll encounter situations where a text file or a web API response string or a database field value is crashing your software application, and it's up to you to figure out why. Common problem characters might include a non-breaking space, car 160 on the ASCII chart. That looks exactly like a space, car 32, but it behaves much differently. Or maybe it's an M dash, car 151 character, and that can occur when a user copy pastes from a Microsoft Office document the contents where there's two side by side dashes in the Office document converts it into a single wide M dash character. Or maybe it's just a simple tab character, car 9, and you don't want that to show up because it's causing problems in your application. So here's a quick level set on ASCII codes, the 255 characters that make up the ASCII chart. There's three main sections that we're going to go through. Red's bad, green's good, and yellow's nah. The red characters 0 through 31, mostly red, those are the control codes in set 1, and typically those can cause trouble. Now, the line feed and carriage return, maybe you don't want to spot those and find them and correct them. Maybe you want to leave them in, they're okay. Or maybe you want to take them out, but generally you want to leave them in. Tab character, sometimes you want to take it out, and there's a whole bunch of other control codes. There's nothing really to show, but you'll want to find those and strip them out if they're in a text document. Next up is the green codes, which are character 32 through 127, and these are good codes. They're on the keyboard. You're going to type them in your text document. They don't cause any trouble, typically. And then there's the character codes 128 through 255, the 8th bit of an 8-bit number. And those ones, nah, you'll use them in European languages. And in general, they don't cause a problem. So you may or may not want to remove them. But the 151 M dash and the 160 non-breaking space, those can cause trouble, depending on what your system does with them. And throughout my career, I've frequently had to find the 151, the 160, and codes up in here tab. So those are the ones that we're going to look for in the next slides. So how do you use Notepad++ to find the issue? Well, it's pretty easy. Using the Find dialog, Control-F, you bring it up. Don't use the Find. Go to the Mark uh, tab here at bullet number one. And then bullet number two, click on the regular expression. You want to use that. And then we're going to see in a minute how to derive this regular expression. But just copy-paste this value in from down below in the YouTube uh, description. Or I'll show it here in a minute. And then you click Mark All. And it'll go through the document and highlight all instances of characters that are in the red zone from the prior screen. So what does the regular expression look like? Well, it has the brackets to say find any of the characters inside. It uses hexadecimal backslash x uh, 0, 0 to 1, f, which does the character range 0 to 31, or 128 to 255. That's if you really want to block off all the yellows and all the reds. But then we don't want. The, uh, we want to ignore the line feed. We want to ignore the carriage return. We want to find the M dash and find the non-breaking space. So anyway, what we're going to do is use this regular expression here where we pick a range and another range and another range and then those two characters, the uh, M dash and the non-breaking space. So you basically copy-paste this string and put it in there. And this string is down below in the YouTube description. And to demo it, I have a document set up here with some bad characters littered throughout. You can't see them yet. Control F. I copy paste in the regular expression from down below in the YouTube description. I make sure it says regular expression. Actually, I don't want it on the find. I want it on the mark. That's what I meant to click. Find. If I do find, watch this. Find next, find next. It's going to find them, but it's kind of hard to see. Find next, it's jumping all around. I don't like that. I prefer mark, and then I prefer mark all. And then there we go. Move this out. Just close this. And there we go. All of them are marked. These are tabs. You can't really see it. It has a little tab character. And then these are going to be your, uh, I think those are both uh, non-breaking spaces. So how do I use Notepad++ to fix the issue? Well, same as the find and the mark. You just click the replace tab instead. Be sure to tick the regular expression. Be sure to paste in that same regular expression text that we want to use to find the bad characters. And then since the replace with comes up, in this case, I wanted to have this big block of characters replace each individual bad character. But you could do a single asterisk, a single X, whatever you want in here. And then you click replace all. Or if you want to watch each one as it's getting replaced, then just click replace one at a time.
but that's all there is to it to fix the problem. And to demo how to use Notepad++ to fix issue, I have a document loaded up here, and I'm going to control H, which brings up the replace dialog, same as a find, and I'm going to go to my saved value here, my regular expression string, and I want to replace each of those with, mm, we'll do an at symbol. And I'll move this way up here, and then I'll do them one at a time. So let's start with the find. Oh, it already had, let's go up here, and then we'll say find, there it found one. Replace it, yep, it put in an at. And then it moved to the next one, replace it. And the next one, it's gonna replace three there, so why don't I just do replace all the rest, boom, boom, boom. And it replaced them with ampersands, just like that. So all the bad characters are removed. If I was treating this as a text string, I could now copy it, paste it wherever I want it back into the database, or if it's an API request or response string, do whatever I need to do with the modified string that no longer has those bad characters in it. You can also find or fix end of line characters, especially if you have a PC and you're trying to open a Mac file or a Linux file, it's not working for you. You can use Notepad++ and the uh, find and replace features that I just showed you but what you would look for is a carriage return and a line feed, backslash R, backslash N. You can actually use those characters without regular expressions inside of uh, Notepad++. That PC is a carriage return and a line feed. PC files end with that. Linux, Unix, and Mac OS X Plus, the later ones that's Linux-based, they have a line feed only, or a backslash N. And then a CR carriage return only is for a Mac Classic. And actually, I will demo it. So carriage turn line feed, you see them all right there. So let's do a control H. But we're not going to do a regular expression. We're going to use these guys, backslash N, backslash R. So a carriage return is a backslash carriage turn line feed, backslash R, backslash N. So we want to replace that with, say, maybe a backslash N only. So watch these little black things here, little uh, black characters. And if I do replace all, boom, they're all flipped to line feed, backslash N. If I undo it and wanted to do it to uh, carriage return only, boom, carriage return only. So the trick here in the replace dialog is to use the extended option for the search mode, not regular expression, and then use backslash R, backslash N, backslash T for a tab, etc. Backslash X is for hexadecimal character like we're using in regular expressions. So where can I download Notepad++? Well, to download it, simply copy the link below in the description or pause this video and type it out from the screen here or go Google download Notepad++ and then click the most recent download link at the site and follow the instructions. And at this point in time, it's this link. You'd click it and download it and run from there. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, then please smash that like button and subscribe for more related content. Also, check out our other related videos and playlists in the boxes to the left.